I define myself as an historian of modern East European Jewish history. I'm engaged in a project on the biography of an American Jewish historian born in the Bronx in 1915. Her name is Lucy Davidovich, and she travels to Poland in 1938 as a graduate student, as a graduate fellow of something called the YIVO Institute, which was kind of a secular university established in Vilna, which has, um, in the interwar years, a population, 30% of which are Jews. Davidovich goes there as a graduate student to research and write, in fact, about the Jewish press. And she lives there for a year. After the signing of the Hitler-Stalin Pact, the American government informs anyone with an American passport or anyone with any connection to the U.S. political scene to leave, because it's very clear that once Hitler and Stalin have agreed, A, to carve up Poland, and B, not to go to war with one another, that there was nothing that could protect Poland. So under real emotional strain, she left, because she loved living in Vilna. She makes a very conscious choice, then, to devote the rest of her life to both memorializing and historicizing this culture. She then returns to Europe in the aftermath of the war to work for the Joint Distribution Committee to work with Jewish refugees, mostly working in, in the field of education, trying to pro provide books for schools, trying to provide cultural materials. And in the process, she and others discover and salvage the remnants of Ivo's Judaica Library, as well as a library called the Strachon Library, which was a traditional Jewish library in Vilna. These works are edited, cataloged, we know what they were, we know what was lost, we know what was stolen, and they're sent to New York through Weinreich's intercession with the Library of Congress, essentially insisting that these cultural treasures belong in New York at the successor to the Vilna Yivo, which is the New York Yivo. In 1967, that she publishes her first book on East European Jewish culture which is an anthology called The Golden Tradition. And The Golden Tradition is one of the first and still extraordinarily useful uh, anthologies of East European Jewish writing. And then she writes the classic work, her classic work, which is The War Against the Jews, which is one of the first books on the Holocaust. And again, it was on everyone's shelf. It's a popular, in some ways, a very popular history of Nazi anti-Semitism and the Jewish response to it. Davidovich's work is um, really a, a link between this Jewish past in Eastern Europe and its recreation and understanding and representation in America. I was able to midwife the reissue of her superb memoir. And it is a memoir of her Vilna year and of her year working with DPs in Germany and of the salvaging of the cultural treasures from Eastern Europe. Reissuing the memoir was was a real, uh, really fantastic thing for me to do because at first I was able to write an introduction to it in which I grapple with her transition, her political transitions, and particularly her transition from defining herself as a secularist, a Jewish secularist, to someone who argues that Jewish culture needs a relationship to Jewish tradition. I was pleased to do it and it was a pleasure. And it was also published by Rutgers Press, so that was a good thing too.